Welcome to the show that your parents, the PTA, and the asleep don't want you to hear. The Hideous Blog. Today, on the Whatever Podcast, some rage, and maybe even some rage quits. Let's get to it. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. What's your own self-assessment of your physical appearance? I don't know if I self-assess in that quantitative of a way, do you? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, defense by over-intellectualization. Yeah, I do. You look at us all and you already have a number in your head. Well, I, I want to give you guys a, more you, of a look over, but I, I, think I it's could a assign... Question. I, I suppose oh. I could assign like a number, yes, one to ten. I don't, I don't intend to do it unless you guys ask me to, but... I feel like just rate yourself like well, today. Like, we'll go around the table. Like right Five. Yes, exactly. What do you feel like right now? Describes it perfectly. Okay. Sure. What about you? Seven. I, I, I'm not humbling myself, but you know, sure. not everybody's perfect. Like, okay. No matter what they say. Cool. I feel like it just depends on the day, but today it's like a six. Like a six. It's on a sliding scale. I see. So what they're saying is whatever the audience says, that's what uh, that's what we'll say. Herd mentality. I don't know. <laughs> Five. I feel like it depends on the ten time of day and uh, what day. But today, this day, right May seventh. Um, probably four. A seven. What about like around twilight? Is it okay, I mean, like I mean. <laughs> That was funny. Like when I'm just waking up in the morning, because we can go from two to seven. No, like the like evening twilight. Uh huh. Uh, in twilight. Uh, like the twilight seven. time. Seven. So better okay. lighting that works for you. Better yeah. lighting. Like golden. Seven. Disaster. <laughs> golden hour. Golden hour. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about you? Yeah, kind of like the scale thing too, but I guess I'll say like a seven. All right. Okay. Thank you, Stifler, for that. That was, uh, that's did, a did I think that's the first time I've ever heard on any paddle the girls didn't go say, I'm no a 10. 10. No I'm 10. a 10. I'm you guys 10. are starting a movement. Didn't yep. that dude say he was a 10 on your show the other day? The dude. The dude? Which dude? Oh, oh, oh wait. Uh, no, he, he's talking about Gary the Numbers guy. <laughs> no, that, that big gremlin looking thing that was on your show. Yeah, that was oh. Gary the Numbers oh, guy. No, she, yeah. uh, she, he made a, a thing. It was on, what was it on? Like a yeah, video talking yeah. about how. So, uh, she, Gary's a 10. Um, hold on. Allie. Hold on. Allie. Her name? Allie. Allie. Yeah. 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 So, Allie did, uh, she was on No Jumper. They showed yeah. her TikTok yeah. on No Jumper, and she said, These dudes don't understand that I'm a 10, so I'm at Wendy's right now eating my feelings. I'm eating away. her feelings. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. That's. That's exactly how that works. Um, whatever you declare yourself as, that's what you are. There's no no objective reality, guys. <laughs> Good times. Good. So I like how the the guy beside Rolo is doing his best to like be a front man in a band. You know, like look at how he's holding the mic. What is this disaster? Does he see himself on camera or something, and he has to do like the perfect pose? Is he looking at himself in the mirror? I'm I'm curious. Do you object? Do you object to the ratings? <laughs> Sorry, it's hilarious. No, I don't object to it. If someone oh, okay. sees themselves in a way where they can quantify it, go for it. Sure, because sometimes we get pushback from on this question of like, oh, it's kind of we rude to try to dehumanizing to try to view someone, you know, to rank someone by their or rate someone by their physical appearance. It's not even the rudeness. I question the objectivity of it because I've noticed when mm. Fresh and Fit does this and you do this, the intention is kind of to rate the woman's delusion or humbleness, which kind of proves that the rating system is subjective because the argument is it's, is it's objective. But if the girl says 10, then the guys will call her a 2. Yeah, and if the girl says that's, 2, they say that's, that's not That's not true. Um, if she says 10, it doesn't mean that she's a 2 objectively. It means she's a, you know... Two standard deviations below average. How the girl says two is the hottest girl, so they base it off personality. Uh, two standard deviations below average in intelligence. Sorry, I didn't specify. Proving right. that. You know what right. I mean? You it factor in personality with well, looks. Well, it is personality, because if you're yeah. over here and you're like, oh yeah, I'm hot shit, this and this and that, they're going to be like, whoa, she's over yeah, here. Yeah, you lose points based on that as well, right? It's it's the, it's the, the, um, the classic, right? Be attractive, don't be unattractive. So... A lot of girls, they don't have to do much to be attractive, right? Just not be fat and, you know, don't be like, uh, you know, 
um, how would I how would I say this? Uh, don't dye your hair two different colors and uh, have multi tattoos, but um, yeah. But then your personality can definitely turn off a guy as well, right? So. You're thinking she's all that, so let's right. go ahead and humble her yeah. really quick. But, but if you're like, if you're kind of nice about it, and you're kind of like, oh yeah, I feel like maybe I'm an eight, I'm a nine today, like you know, I'm feeling okay. Then they're gonna be like, okay, that's cool. Sure. Like, no, they won't. Okay, anyway. You know, Proves that looks aren't objective. Then, then if we talk about that, then I change my answer. I'm a ten. Perfect. Ever, uh -oh. then we're talking about that. Uh -oh. then I'm changing my answer then. because if, I don't care what anybody says. Like everybody can say any hurtful thing. I play COD. Like you have heard so much hurtful Call of Duty? things. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, the first Those one. Those are some hardcore lobbies for sure. Yeah, for sure. S and D too. <laughs> I promise you. Okay. But anyways, no, but you're, you're correct. It is subjective, and that's why we asked you. You're you're the subject in this time. That you're rating yourself, right? Sure. I well, don't so know we, we do the, the we, I mean, every time we do Access Vegas, we have we have some, in my opinion, some very stunningly gorgeous girls on there. Every guy in the in the chat says, "Oh, I can't. Why, why don't you get some normal girls on there? Why don't you get like that's the number one thing we had to deal with from day one, was people saying that 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 the girls on our show were fake. They had big lips, they had big tits. They had there was you know there get some real girls on there kind of thing, and so it was the subjective like opinion of these guys that these aren't like quote unquote normal girls. Mm -hmm. So. All you really have to do is go walk through any major airport today and you can go find normal people. Are they gonna be the people that you wanna have on your, your podcast? Are they gonna be people you're gonna poll for like these kind of questions? I don't think so. Big announcement, guys. We currently have 10,000 plus viewers. That is a we'll record. Get, you'll get more. That is a record for whatever. The chat is on fire. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you guys. I think our previous highest. I mean, when you have Rolo, what, what do you want? This was like 8,000, yeah, go ahead. Okay, I think everyone's just like overcomplicating things. Like, <laughs> it's just, they just asked you like whether or not you think you're a 10. Like, in my opinion, if a fat bitch is fat, you call her fat, you know? Indeed. Or if someone's ugly, you call them butt ugly, you know? But like, if we just overcomplicated things like, oh, oh, my worth is like, you okay, know, if I'm you sorry. saw this earlier, you, this entire video, you have been talking about personality, how it doesn't have to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. no. I've been talking, talking about personality. Talk, no, 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 not, no, because now you're talking down about somebody, how they're okay, fat, well, how they're Okay, well, ugly. if a fat bitch but is yeah, fat, you call her fat. Like, well, personality is fat. That's why you need to reinstate shaming in society. That's how you get girls to not be fat, right? You just tell them, and then they don't do it personality do you have an ugly personality well yeah that's your opinion but like exactly. personally so at the end of the day it's been, still an opinion yeah I, I am at the end of the day so you're getting I don't mad think at that her that's contradicting her she's talking can about you, two can different things can you let things. me finish can you, can you, can you, you haven't can you let, let anyone talk? finish yeah, if i can talk you just keep you just keep going you just keep going are you are you done she has a neck tattoo Oh my like, god. I can wait. Like I'm one of those teachers. Like wait, I can wait. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Thank you, man. Here is a better way to gauge this question. When you rate yourself, what subconscious image do you use to rate yourself? Hmm. Your Instagram photos or hmm, you just getting out of the shower and looking at okay, yourself in the mirror. Down. That's an interesting question. 99% they use the fake delusional version of themselves at their absolute best. We're stealing that question. Yes. Thank when you. you rate yourself, do you use your sub? What subconscious image of yourself do you use? Your Instagram photos, or do you use yourself when you're fresh faced, getting out of the shower? That's EXE. Thank you. Really appreciate the uh, support. Speaking of the rating thing, and oh my God, Mike Davis donated. Thank you, man. Holy shit. Mike Davis's ratings for how much I pay for an out call oh with each guest. God. Out call. Three hundred dollars, Farah. Zero dollars, Nikki. Zero dollars, Rosie. Zero dollars, Ali. Three hundred dollars, Nev. Five hundred dollars, Aspen. Three hundred dollars, Kylie. Zero dollars, Sartain. If he returns my watch, Waller. Dollar one, comma oh 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 comma oh oh. If he paid me. Bro, I gave him his watch back, Pam. What are you doing? Right what is it? He's got it right here. I'm sorry, Mike Davis. I don't know what I did to Mike Davis, but Jack. disaster. Yeah, I I love how the 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 guy like okay, look at the guy two to the right of the host. Like, look at how he's. Sorry, just his pose is hilarious. Oh man, Mike Davis. What, what's uh, thank you guys for all this. If he's using it. words like out call, he's from Nevada. 
<laughs> That's hilarious, man. At least it's funny. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm really not. I just don't like being cut off. You just objectively think that you're better than everyone. We we know that. Because I literally just sat here two fucking hours to listen to you talk, and I, I just can't talk. You came here to talk to everybody. I understand that, you but am I cutting you off? You've been cutting Oops. people off this entire night. Anyway. No, no, everything is about you. Just keep going, special snowflake. You you keep going. It's fine. Who? You. And I just have- <laughs> Look at the host! Did you see the host's expression? <laughs> like 20 minutes vomiting, shitting out word salad. Whoa. 20 minutes straight. Wait, wait, why are you getting offended that I want to have the conversation with you? I'm not offended. Yeah, because you're, you just you're trying to call me out. I'm trying to literally finish my point. I haven't even got to the period. Okay, it go was ahead. A comma. Now is your time. Go it ahead. It was literally a comma. I literally talk forgot. Yeah, no, just special snowflake. You keep going. You no, no one should ever interrupt you. Just, just talk. Just say whatever you want. It's all. It's all. It's all about you. I'm so mad. Ladies, well, ladies, 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 you're both pretty. It's okay. Can I? Can I? Can I? Yes, it does. Pretty and delusional. How would I fucking stand for? Can, it? What right. you, you mentioned the period? Can we please not talk about menstruation? But um, <laughs> hilarious. You, I don't know. You said something about periods. Or I said a kind of bad joke. Can, 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 can I bring that joke? Great job. Yeah. Can I get nerdy with us again, real quick? So beauty is not actually not subjective. Uh, there's tons of studies that show when you overlay, there's a, there's a famous one where you overlay the pictures of several thousand psychology students over each other, you come up with an average and that average is more attractive than the other people. It's rated as more attractive than the people in the classroom. Also, there's studies that show that infants, young children look at people who are more attractive for longer periods of time. Well, I, you know, I've hosted over 45 mm -hmm. different bikini competitions and <laughs> exactly, I've hosted over 45 different bikini competitions and in doing so, when, when, when I ask the guys who's gonna win, it's almost always like the same three girls. We, all, we generally agree. There's no study that shows that beauty, now to a certain extent, obviously some people like bigger butts or bigger lips, but the, ty the idea of facial symmetry and signs of youth, clear skin, things like that, those things tend to be universal. So those things are not subjective. They're actually- That's true. That's, uh, of course, absolutely, right? Like any one of this crowd could pick out, I don't know, um, let's use a nice example. 20 year old Angelina Jolie. How about that? Out of a crowd. And they would think that she's more attractive than 99% of women. And so on. Right? Or Sharon Stone. Or whatever. So, like, it's nuts, right? They just, they just lie, right? Or, you know, they, they would try to reputation destroy or say she's a ditz or, you know, they'd attack her on whatever quality that she has that they think they have on her. Objective, and that's a really offensive thing to a lot of people. Uh, when when you you know look at Victoria's Secret and they show other body types, and I'm all for it, inclusivity, but they're not going to change what I find attractive, or what Justin finds attractive, mm. or what Rollo or any of the men in the chat what they find attractive. Because the I because when you leave that door open, that beauty is subjective. It really, for the most part, isn't. Like you can tell when something is beautiful because of symmetry and other things. And, and there's just tons of studies. There's tons of evidence to show this. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really. How would I how would I describe this? You don't need to be like a Victoria's Secret model as a girl to be attractive. You just need to be above average, and being above average is easy. You just don't overeat, don't destroy your bodies with alcohol and drugs, don't get a million tattoos. It's really that simple. That was a beautiful point. Beautiful. Um, but I would like to talk to you again. Amazing. Uh, um. <laughs> Hence fight what you said was that that there was a double standard in what she was saying and okay what you said was she called entitled narcissistic uh, queen versus stoner tattered stoner let's see who wins is it like she sees it and that's wrong because and then you you sorry was it you or what? you or talk what? you talked about how how we just got in that argument but she, you're saying that she's calling it a double standard for caring about somebody's personality when she meets somebody and then calling them ugly or fat. I just don't mm. want to fuck a fat bitch. I, 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 sorry, okay. I just don't want to fuck a fat bitch, but okay, yeah, you go on. Are you bi? Wait, is she, yeah, is she a lesbian or something? I 
mean? Are you trolling? Like, what's what's what going mean? on? Oh, I just I don't want to go. Okay, okay, like you're funny and shit. Okay, look me in the eye and tell me you'd fuck. Drognak the Destroyer who comes on here every once in a while. Okay, but that's not what we're saying. What I'm, we're, I'm, what I'm just I trying to get a read. Uh, yo, Ivan, thank you for that, man. I appreciate it. donated $200. Stop focusing on dollar. If you got you, then great. These girls have no sense of tradition. False studies is what they preach and listen to other women on what a man is and wants. Set your value boundaries and get experience. A man is a leader and a woman makes it worth it. Yo, Ivan Jr., thank you for the $200 donation. Really appreciate all the support, guys. Really appreciate all the support tonight. Um, do you want to continue with okay, your okay, point yeah, about you want not to wanting that? to fuck fat bitches? Okay, okay, I just don't want to fuck fat bitches. Okay, I just... Yeah, uh, girls are actually much more cruel about this than men. Actually. Like, girls are much more picky and selective. Like, if you're a guy and you're a loser, that's 90% of the male population. Like, I don't, I don't think you understand that. In women's eyes, of course. In men's eyes, it's different because men can appreciate qualities other than appearance and physicality and charisma and money, right? But women don't. <laughs> so, anyway, let's continue. Don't. Like, Aren't, you said you're... Wait, what? Dude, I, I just don't I know you're like, like Okay, if a fat whatever, bitch went like, up what? to me and said, hey, sexy, I'd be like, hell not. Nah. Are you bi? Dude, I don't fucking know. I, I don't know. So you like what you like, basically. I, I like Disaster. What I like, but so like... If you, so you like a person any person Okay, okay, okay listen, I just don't want right? to fuck a fat bitch. You don't have to overcomplicate you, okay, back to, I don't want to fuck a fat back bitch. Back to what she so was she asking me. Back to what she was asking me. You were saying how I was basically saying that's contradicting, right? Yeah. Earlier, she was saying... How, how are you gonna date somebody? How are you gonna marry somebody and then not not know if that they're good in bed, right? And mm -hmm. she's over here saying, "Well, I know they're not good in bed because they'll okay, break first it." Okay, let me finish. Okay, you want people to let me? You, what? Let you finish. <laughs> like, Thank you. you. My thing is. This doesn't make a lick of sense. Sorry. You're over here saying that. Oh, you're over here judging. You're being biased. This and this and that. But yet you're over here saying I wouldn't fuck somebody who's bigger than me, so, like th that who's ugly. This and this and that. You have your own person, like perception as to who's ugly and who's <coughs> big right mm -hmm. so it's like for you to be like straight up and say like oh no f you're ugly like you're fat but yet you're over here saying like oh no i'm not judging i'm not judging that you're oh you are being biased and okay you okay look I, i'm not saying. an architect i don't want to fuck a fat bitch like can we just I don't want to fuck a fat bitch. You don't so have you to. Have that's not what I'm saying. Okay, We've okay, established okay. that. Yeah, 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 Thank yeah. you very much. But we don't yes. have to overcomplicate things. I doubt anyone. Okay, but just. I'm just. I'm what she's saying with her word salad, because she's not very good at expressing herself, is women tend to muddy the waters, right? When you try to say something that's a general statement, they're like, oh, let me point out this exception. Oh, let me point out that exception. Thinking that that's a slick, that that's an intelligent argument, right? That it counters the points that you made. But one exception does not disprove the rule. They're speaking in generalities, right? They're speaking in heuristics. They're not speaking about individuals. This is what a lot of women have trouble understanding. Okay, I, I just don't so want to have a type. I am and not trying to complicate it. She merely asked me a question, which is why I was. Just trying mm. to Can I just unmitigated disaster. Reiterate a little bit. Good. Jesus. Okay. So I think the point is, you shouldn't judge someone based off the act of sex, right? Sex isn't the end. What? And all be all. But biologically, we pick the mate that is best for us. You're not gonna want to mate with someone who, say, is obese, say, is short, and mm -hmm. you want your kids, you want your offspring to be stronger powerful tall in good shape right yes you will see not... the way you are wording it is way better than what she had that's exactly. why i said yup disaster let's continue silly let's see. checkmate he, silly he, this guy's a scammer wait, wait, so. guys, guys, silly is that a job i think scammer? i'm gonna Adam, leave Adam, and if any Adam, girls want to leave wait, wait, with me Adam, Adam, i'll be happy to take you with me he's rage quitting he's rage quitting it's not a rage quit i honestly i think you're intentionally trolling now you like chilled out for a little bit but now you're back to Control. I, I don't even think it's trolling. I just actually think you're a misandrist and you hate men, frankly, because holding the position that most or all men are pedophiles is an incredibly sexist statement to make. It's inc Indeed. incredibly misandrist. Mm. You're pathologizing. First off, you, you're attempting to pathologize men who have a preference for younger women. Keyword women. Fresh meat, malleable. Yeah, all right, oh, my Lord. What is it? Yeah, it's just arguing in bad faith. 
Get off the show. Get the f get the f the show. See Leave. Ya. This is Sparta. Get off the show. Thank God. Out you go. So much. Out you go. Thank God. Oh my God. Go on. Oh, I had to well, check. I had to check something. So okay. What's that? How was it? Huh? I said the vibe is so bad. It's really not. You're the one who made it all. It's been bad the whole time, and I'm sorry. It was bad I, when I, people started. I, it's bad in your opinion because you are arguing bad faith and making it very annoying and unpleasant for everybody. Disagreeing with you. Coming on. Sorry. It was my fault. Okay. Well, you See can ya. go. Really. You can leave. Get up. Leave. You're shaking too now. Hey, we're both shaking. Okay. Wait, you're yeah, literally you? can't hold your camera. You can leave. You can leave. Wait, what? I thought I she said you were shaking. No, I was okay. checking on you. <laughs> Just a litany of mental illness. Hey, get out. I gotta give her my number first. Rage quit. <laughs> She's leaving. Wow. People here, hold on, we'll let this come through. Bats underscore X donated $100. They give our keep to the path. The rest of the girls, do you think you will come to regret your content creation 10 to 15 years from now when you start a family and you have to explain to your kids why you sold your body? Yup, for $4.99 online. Very attractive. Very, very great examples for their children. Body to the world for fast cash. Is this a question? Yes. To... None of you answer that. It's torture. Um, that's what these men want to make you feel extremely bad for yourselves and you don't have to so you'll do what you want on your own time if you want to disaster so another bad faith arguer I want to talk to someone about it, you can talk to me about it or other women about it but don't do the whole torture for men <laughs> well they're checked out anyway so okay it's just you and me we're checked in Actually, <laughs> okay. So we were talking about hypergamy. Yes, which you think is widespread. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was actually hilarious. Did this girl just make the claim that hypergamy is not widespread? You mean biological reality isn't widespread? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna be done too. I mean, Great, get out. Do I take the mic? I don't know. What about you two? Are no, you guys done? Saying, no, we're fine. Um, okay, I mean, if they're just going to be checked out, like, we'll we'll deal with the description afterwards. But, um, okay, so... I disagree because you're also, like, saying that as if everyone with the confidence has expectations that they deserve something. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I even... Bella Donna used to be married to one of my good friends who by society standards would who probably be- Who the fuck be... is that guy? Who is Bella Donna? Bella Donna was one of the most famous stars in the world. Oh. Um, Do you not jerk She's it? probably more famous than you, no I offense, don't... but- and I've, she's- I'm not- Yeah, I definitely really for care. sure. <laughs> like, she, she out cool. her Google search- I'm just saying, she's way- Okay, it's that's a- uh, Again, spicy content stars are not attractive or famous. More, she's really famous and his confidence and is she <laughs> she is i mean i don't I've give a fuck if ryan, she is no, answer like, that for us yeah ryan, ryan do you know the answer to that is she famous uh, you know a lot of <laughs> stars i need to look let's do a google trend search let's compare uh, i've Bella never Donna. i've never heard of that name Bella, i've never yeah i've never heard of that. I'll, I'll send it to you <laughs> okay. Nick, okay. let's, let's okay. do it let's do it maybe okay, if i see ahead. the go face no honestly i don't i don't watch i don't like i don't care but What? I kind of want to just bounce, to be honest. Um, oh. So I'm gonna go. seriously? Yeah. Because a we're bit. just uh. You're that triggered over no, this conversation? I, it's uh, I didn't do enough research on the podcast. Because we're talking about because no, I don't know who just, Bella uh, Donna is. No, it's disaster. Not, not that. It's, it's uh, funny because literally nobody knows. Everything. It's just. It's just solipsism, right? I think this person is famous, therefore they're famous. Because we're talking about rating. We talk about people's attractiveness. So <laughs> oh my god, that's why you cut off all your hair and dyed it pink, yeah? Fair enough. Okay, well that's my ride. So. No, you oh, wow. Stay. I, I'll go sit in my car. It's a, no, no, no. It's no. Self castle. No. <laughs> if you need a ride back, I, I don't mind yeah. driving you too. Stay. I'm going back to LA too. I feel like personally, I'm We're all gonna just drive together. Hang tight, guys. <laughs>
fucking care at this point. At the end of the day, that conversation, like, everyone's going to have their own opinions. It's just, we're not going to agree. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. no one's going to ever yeah. agree. We're not going to get anywhere. And I, mean, I, mean, really like, yeah. 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 so I think she, I, I, I want you to know that, like, I really don't think that they're, like, some disgusting, like, it's, like, no. wrong. No, shut it's, up. Like, like, I've redirected the conversation. Answer the question. <laughs> I just said I don't know him. If he's sweet, sure, but like, why can't I sit here and talk about? Him? I mean, you it's your podcast. Because, it. because I've I've chosen to redirect the con the conversation. You can either accept that or you can leave. Your choice. Yeah, for people out there who like are listening to this, I'm, I'm literally about to leave. Out. Yeah, I'm out. Get out. Very funny, great, wonderful. Let's just argue in bad faith and uh, see what happens. What could possibly go wrong? Being disrespectful to the to the host of the show. What could possibly go wrong? I'm out. And you got to say get out to me, but like Peace out. Loser. Peace out. This is Sparta. See ya. I'm gonna get up too, but thank you for having me. Okay, you can it's leave. It's nice meeting you. <laughs> nah, you can disaster. You can't sit here, you gotta get out. You gotta get out. We drove together. Okay. Make it a... Um, Is whole squad leaving or what? Well, we got make, a whole squad. They make it a hat together. trick then. I'm sorry for not taking that, but I have to do that for like family members mine. Not- uh-huh. Yo, for, for the hens. All right. Let's end the video there. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit all the notifications, drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian Otto, and Bobby Dylan, Renaissance Press, Brian, and actually... We do have someone new that I have not added to the stream, and I will. Um, Andrew C. Shouts to you. So sorry, one sec. Um, let me just uh, include it here in the in the top donations, in the latest donations. Andrew C. Shouts to you, my lord. Oh, here, okay. Brian S. Here, Andrew C. Shouts to you, Andrew. Uh, most recent purchase. Yeah, wow. Okay, it's good that I got tongue tied here. Most recent purchase of Strategist Guide to Seduction. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Anyway, my Patreon can be found at patreoncom heliosborg. My books are bit at bitly heliosborgs And of course, if you'd like some coaching, message me at theheliosborg at gmail.com. Um, I'll slot you right into coaching. That's my email. All right. Thank you so much for listening, especially if you listen to the end. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.